If you're not purging, we advise you to get off the streets. It'll soon be a war out there. We're stuck outside on Persia. What are we gonna do? Follow me. Move! Don't stop! It's my life to purge! They're coming. Just remember all the good the purge does. Read it on. Hello, I'm the Universal Critic. I talk about whatever I want, whenever I want. Last year, I did a review of a movie called The Purge, a thriller set in a world where for one night a year, all crime is legal. An absurd idea, really, but it had a lot of potential for a horror movie. And what did The Purge do with said potential? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Thankfully, the sequel, The Purge Anarchy, has a much better understanding of its premise and what to do with it. This film is a sequel to the original In Name Only, which I think is a smart move. Really, the whole idea of the purge in the first film, anyway, was really just a contrived way of explaining why the good guys don't just call the police. The sequel, on the other hand, focuses on a group of people who become stranded in a downtown area during the purge, and must fight off all sorts of nightmarish things to survive. By setting the story in the heart of the purge, the movie manages to expand on ideas that were only hinted at or just hand-waved away in the first film. For example, there's a subplot involving a group of rebels who resist the purge, claiming that it is merely a brutal way of eliminating the poor and disenfranchised of society. The their leader can only be described as a chimera of Malcolm X, John Lennon, and Che Guevara. And on top of all that, he's played by Chalky White from Boardwalk Empire. Needless to say, he is by far the most awesome character in the entire movie. The other characters in this movie are okay too, and unlike in most modern horror movies, they are actually likable and not completely insufferable. The villains in this film are far more interesting and better realized than the ones in the first movie. Most of them act like real people who are releasing all of their morals and inhibitions, unlike in the first film, where they acted like serial killers. This helps ground the film's rather silly idea in reality. We see people hurting each other over mundane things, like someone snubbing your advances constantly or having an affair. Things that would cause the hatred and frustration that the Purge is meant to release, and that creates a sort of believability to this world. Overall, I give The Purge Anarchy a low big screen rating. It is a million times better than its predecessor, which is not saying much, but still, it's very entertaining, and it's sure to please horror buffs. I'm the Universal Critic. I talk about whatever I want, whenever I want. Goodbye.